Hey everyone, I know it's been a very long time since I've done a video and uh, as you can tell I am in a different location. Uh, the reason behind that is we have moved. So because of that the range was taken down and it has not been set up here yet because it's very cold outside and my garage is not nearly as large as it was in our last location. So shooting indoors is not feasible right now. But that's the purpose of this video. Uh, today's video is about a slingshot that I have held on to for admittedly far too long. And for that, I apologize uh, to those that are involved in this little endeavor. Um, quite some time ago over on the Slingshot Channel forum, uh, Dan Hood started a world's most traveled slingshot. For those of you that were long, around long enough to remember that, yeah, it's still going. And part of the reason it's been hung up for so long was it spent a lot of time in Brazilian customs. And the other part is because of my hang-up. I've had, I've had this frame for quite some time, as I mentioned. And <clears throat> part of that is because life has just got ridiculously crazy for some time. And honestly, for a while, I kind of was taking a break from slingshots altogether. I packed up my range at my old house, uh, put all my slingshots in a box and just kind of tucked it away for, for a little while and kind of honestly forgot about uh, this particular slingshot. But now I'm back and the slingshot in question is this beautiful little thing, massive slingshot, by the way. And you can see that it's been signed significantly by numerous individuals. Um, Part of this is, I mean, there's, you can see there's Brazil Viking or Raul down in Brazil. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of great people have signed this slingshot. It's been all over the world, South America, Europe, um, lots of places as well. And in a few of these places, and I forgot where they, all, where they have all signed it. Uh, but last year, a good friend, mutual friend of a lot of us uh, got married. Uh, so I was able to take this slingshot to the wedding when I went out there and was able to get a few people to sign the slingshot who were not participants in the original thread. Um, so those signatures are on here as well. So there's a few people that have signed that were not part of the original World's Most Traveled Slingshot and I just think that adds to it. Uh, so this is going to one more stop, which is going to be Drew Bilbrey. Um, he'll have this. Hopefully he can get some shooting videos. It's now starting to warm up a little bit. And then after that, this will be heading home to its permanent permanent residence with Mr. Dan Hood uh, or Big DH2000. I'm sure you've seen his videos if you're watching this one. But um, this thing, if I remember correctly, was made out of some kind of bulletproof material and expertly crafted by Dan himself. And this was kind of fun to shoot. I mean, it's it's a huge slingshot, as you can see with my hands. And this thing is just simply massive. And with top slots, which you can adjust to your personal shooting length, but I should kind of shoot extended draw to begin with. So if I come back here, I was shooting it where I had a floating angle. So that's how I shot it a few times. I didn't shoot this a whole lot upon receiving it. Um, but it, I and mean, with the odd shape, it still does feel very nice in the hands. So this should be getting packaged up and sent to Drew hopefully this week. Um, I'm relying on my wife to do that as I will be out of town on business. So for those that have been asking about this on the Slingshot Channel forum, I sincerely apologize for taking so long to get this out there. Uh, life has just been insanely busy and with the move and everything else uh, with work and travel and all that, I just kind of forgot about it for a period of time. So this will be coming out soon. Drew, this will be uh, heading your way and then very shortly after that, back to you, back to you, Dan. So thank you for letting me participate with this. I, again, sincerely apologize for the amount of time that I've had this particular beautiful frame. And at the end, I believe there will also be another slight little secret reveal that uh, Dan Hood will have also. So hopefully he can do that when this finally makes it back to his hands two plus years later, whatever it has, has been at this point. Very overdue time coming. So thank you again, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.